Welcome back to another YouTube video and today myself and Julian are going to show you guys how to attract links using calculators. Um, I know that this is one thing that you've spoken about Julian. Um, how, how, how'd you find it? How, how did you find out about it? Because there's, um, there's a lot of keywords nowadays where you look up like XYZ calculator and they've just got loads of links. Yeah, so I saw more and more people using ChatGPT to create calculators as well. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of people have talked about this, but you know how like you've got AIO views, Google's yeah. version of ChatGPT basically, but in the SERPs. It can give you featured snippets or it can answer questions really quickly, but it's not right now going to give you a tool. And therefore, if you still want to get traffic, creating calculator pages isn't going to be replaced anytime soon. Yeah, that, that 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 is the one benefit that I would say to to all of this is there has been times where, um, for example, Google has rolled out a calculator, but it's took them years. Like for example, the currency converter calculator. Like if you do like tie bat to pounds, you don't actually need to click on a physical page. You can literally just go on to the actual Chrome box at the top, um, and you can put in like eight hundred baht or a thousand baht or whatever. And what 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 is that to pounds? But let me show you um, a page or a couple keywords that are getting a lot of links using calculators, and then we'll we'll also show you how you can build your own calculator for free. So mortgage calculator in the UK is a forty four keyword difficulty. And as you can see here, um, you've got moneyhelper.org.uk, 781 backlinks, 399 referring domains, money saving expert, 776 referring domains, 115, 126, 48, 64, 89, 37, 69, 40. And also in the US, it's a lot more difficult. Um, it gets 2.7 million searches. And again, You've got 3,400 referring domains, 6,000, 2,000, 1,000. The crazy thing is, is the, 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 the smallest page or the smallest amount of referring domains on this keyword is, um, is chase.com with 141 referring domains. That's, wow. that's ridiculous, the amount of links that they get. And typically speaking, just so you guys understand, um, Julian, do you think that... that people link to these pages because it's just ease of access they're like ah and I, I, I need to link to a mortgage calculator within my article they'll just search mortgage calculator and they'll link to it do you think that's the thought process i think sometimes that'll happen and then also they'll be building backlinks themselves one day because it's quite a competitive niche they know yeah. they need links to rank for it definitely and then the what one thing that i will say as well is if you're really savvy with your actual mortgage calculator you could instead of just having just a regular calculator like this, you could also have it like redirect to a contact form as well. So like once they the once like they put in their actual data, so let's say, I don't know, five hundred thousand with a down payment five hundred thousand with a down payment of let's say hundred and fifty thousand. What I would be doing here is e either like having a big call to action button at the bottom where it just goes to a contact form page um, and basically you can capture that person's um, info um, and you can sell them a mortgage or what, whatever else. Um, but if we also take a look at some of these actual pages, let's take a look at some of the links. What do you think the highest DR link would be, Julian? Before, before we actually go into it, do you think that they've got any DR 90s? I reckon they've got some 80s in there. Right, okay. A any specific number? We'll, we'll take a guess first each. 83. All right, I'll go with 92. Right, let's take a look. They've got Wikipedia. Wow. Um, so as you can see, it is, it is working. They've got the official mortgages page linking to their mortgage calculator. Um, so let's see what we can do. Then... then if we sort by highest to lowest DR. We've got Shopify, they've got Bing linking to them. Now again, so in some cases, you might want to ignore some of these links, but you do have a whole lot of um, good links in this, in the mix. 
But let's see how we can actually code our own mortgage calculator. So we're going to be using Claude. Um, would people need, need the paid version for this? I know that I've got the paid version. It depends how many times you're going to go back and forth. Like right, if, okay. you, if you're just going to send a few messages, like if you take the prompt that you give away today, then mm -hmm. people don't need to go back and forth as much. Right, okay. That's good. So just one thing is make certain that you actually do have artifacts enabled. And we're going to go and create our tool, basically. So I want you to create me a mortgage calculator tool. Um, and, and I want to preview it. The following, or actually you need to ask the following questions. So let's give it some questions that it needs to ask. So the home price, I think that that's pretty important. Um, then we have got the down payment and the loan term and the interest rate percent. And also the zip code. Hmm. Would the zip code be? I don't. I don't think we need the zip code. Um, can you also include a call to action to my uh, contact page? The URL is casro-dot-com forward slash. What is my contact page? I think it's casualdash.com. What would be quite interesting is, and I think it would be out of the scope of this video, but if you could collect the email address too and then you send it to your own CRM. Yeah, that, that, would, be, um, that would be a dream scenario. But yeah, with yeah. the issues that we've had with Claude today, I, I, I think <laughs> that we're, we're probably stretching it. So for anybody that doesn't know what well, this is generating and stuff, um, me and Julian done a video before this video on his channel. Uh, make certain to check it out. Uh, but Claude was just being a massive pain. Um, and we had to go back and forth for a little, like an hour to try and get it to work. But this does look like it has worked. Um, let's take a look here. So give me a home price, Julian. Let's go with 200,000. 200,000. Um, that's 20,000. There we go. What's it, what's the, what's our down payment? We're both SEOs. What, uh, what what what's down payment looking like? It depends if it's before the clapping or after. <laughs> Let, let's say let's say before the clapping. All right, we'll go with like a hundred thousand then. Hundred thousand, and um, down payment. That is ten. We'll do another one. Loan term. How 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 long? How long we're we taking the loan for? Let's go five years. Five year loan. And what's the interest rate of the UK right now? 4.5%? Something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite high these days. Yeah, right. So um, we're hoping that this works and we don't need to go back and forth. <laughs> and I think let's, let's actually use the actual loan calculator on this, right? So if we actually just cross-reference this to um, loan term five years. Ah, this right. So this this only goes to ten years. Let's let's just change ours to ten years, and we'll do a four point five percent. Um, so we'll do ten. We'll do it four point five. Oh, four point five. Update one thousand two hundred thirty four. One zero three six. Now, one thing that I will say is that. It, this has also included property tax and also home insurance as well. But if we were to just remove those, we actually do have 1036, 1036, boom! It's actually working and the contact us actually goes through to my contact form page as well. One thing that I will say is we could actually make the contact us button a little bit more enticing. So the contact us button can you change it so it's uh, so the cta says i'll just move this out of the way um 
if you want the best mortgage deal, contact. All right, go we'll say click here. Um, so that the reason for that is it's a, it's a little bit more CRO optimized. Like I, I think that you would agree with me here, Julian. Um, you can get a million traffic, but if your website isn't CRO optimized, if you've not got call to actions. You're just not gonna gonna entice people into contacting you. Um, w would you agree with me? Yeah, hundred percent. And then every single person that lands on your website, you might be wasting like ninety percent of the traffic you worked so hard to get. Exactly. Um, so now it's a lot cleaner. Um, we'll do a fifty thousand um, down payment and the interest rate of two point three. And there we go. And if you want a, the best mortgage deal, click here. One thing on that, would you change that call to action color? Yeah, I think something that just stands out and is brighter than the rest of the page works nicely. Can you change the CTA? Um, I think we use blue, for example, light blue on our website or orange. So, uh, we'll, we'll go with the Julian Goldie branding or orange. So it stands out. So, that, I'm hoping, will be the calculator tool, all, um, right, so I think that that'll be the, the calculator tool sorted now. Um, if you want the best mortgage deal, click here. It's not actually, um, it's not actually listened. Um, change the color to the oh, of the CTA to orange. Let's see if it has actually done anything. There we go. I mean, it's. It's still, it could still do a little bit of tweaking, but I mean, it, at least it stands out a lot more. Um, what, what's your thoughts? Is there anything that you would add to that? I think for now, like, it's a bare basics. It will do on it, and then you can always tweak it. But the more complex you make it, the more likely it is to break. One of the yeah, other that's... things that I was going to say, one of the other things that I found is like, have you tried to embed these calculators on your website? I have not. Is is there something that I need to know about that? Sometimes it doesn't work. Like you have to simplify it because right. otherwise you have to edit like the PHP and the JavaScript or create a new page of JavaScript inside your theme file. Right. Okay. The 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 one good thing about this is the fact that um, obviously we are um, we've got. We're not using any JavaScript, so there's no pop-ups or anything. Um, the only thing that you might need to worry about when you are embedding this is um, you might need to create like a PHP file to embed this. But there's there's multiple ways that you can obviously go around doing something like this. But that's that's been our video on how to create a mortgage calculator tool to, to bait more links. Thanks, Julian, for joining me. Thank you, sir. Um, and if you guys do want a free 15-minute consultation with myself, make sure to check the link down below or head over to casualdash.com. Thanks.